Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. If you work internationally or want to work internationally, you need to be able to answer many basic business English questions. Now, of course, there are hundreds of basic business English questions, but in this lesson, we're going to start with one which is very important, and that's the question, what do you do? So I'm going to show you how to answer that question simply, correctly, and confidently. And later, I'll tell you about a resource I've written with over a hundred other business English questions and answers, which you can access and download for free. But for now, let's start with the first important question, what do you do? Okay, so at the top here, I've shown you three easy, simple ways to answer the question. All right, let's look at what they are. And down here, there are some other options, but first we'll focus on these. So the first one is, you could simply say, when someone asks you, what do you do? You could simply say, I'm plus your profession. For example, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm an accountant, okay? That kind of thing. So that's one way to answer. A second way to answer is to talk about the field that you work in. For example, I could say, I'm in education. Somebody could say, I'm in finance, okay? So that's the field or the area of work, all right? The professional field. So right now, for yourself, think, how would you answer this? What would you say? I'm a teacher, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, okay? Or I'm in engineering, I'm in finance, that kind of thing. Okay, the third way that you can answer is by talking about your employer, talking about the company that you work for. So then you would say, I work for, plus the name of the company, I work for Microsoft, I work for Sony. Or if you don't want to give the name of the company, or if the name of the company is not necessarily known, or it's not important, or you don't feel like disclosing that information, you can simply say uh, something in general. For example, I work for an airline. I work for a law firm, okay? So these ways, these three ways are completely correct, and you can be sure that if you say one of these, you will be answering the question, what do you do? correctly, okay? So that's enough. But now I'm going to show you a little bit more that you could say if it's relevant to you. But if this is enough, then just choose one of these and use and learn one of those, okay? But let's look at some other possibilities. For example, you could say, I'm the CEO of Microsoft, okay? That would be a very big position. CEO is chief executive officer, the top person the senior most executive, all right? Or I'm the director of sales at Sony, all right? So here you're giving your position, okay? So you notice that because it's a particular position, we don't say a, we say the, all right? So if you're giving your title, your position, then you remember to say the. Um, next, if you want to express a little bit more about your field, but in a different way with a little bit more vocabulary, slightly more advanced vocabulary, then you could say, I'm in the publishing industry. Now you could also just say, I'm in publishing. That's fine too. But if you want to say a little bit more, give a little bit more advanced answer, you could say, I'm in the publishing industry, or I'm in the advertising business, or I'm in the energy sector. Okay, sector means a part of the economy, or I'm in the public sector, which means you work for the government, or I'm in the private sector, okay? That kind of thing. So you could also say these, okay? All the answers down here are a little bit more advanced. Now, suppose you work somewhere, but your position is not very high. You're young, or you've just begun, or whatever the reason, doesn't matter. Then you might want to just say where you work in terms of the location. But it's not important of the, the name of the employer or anything like that. You just want to keep it very general. So then you could say, I work in a hospital. You don't give the name of the hospital. You don't say I'm a doctor because maybe you just have a job somewhere in the hospital. 
So you can say that too. You can say, I work in a hospital, or I work in a store, or I work on a farm. There are a few um, outside uh, jobs where we use the word on, like on a farm, on an oil rig, on a construction site, okay? So again, all of those will be mentioned on the resource that I'm going to tell you how you can access in a little while. But now, let's do a little review to see how well you've learned this. So, let's do the first one. So here, we're going to use I'm, and in this column, we'll say I work, all right? So I'm, what do we need to say? For real estate. So real estate is the field. So what would you say? I'm in real estate. Very good. I'm social worker. So that's a profession. So what do we need to say? I'm a social worker or I'm a social worker. Good. VP, which means vice president of finance. Now that's a specific position. So what do we need to say? I'm the I'm the VP of finance. Good. Next, I'm pharmaceutical industry. So now we're saying industry. It's a little more detailed, a little more specific. So we need to say, I'm in the pharmaceutical industry. Good. And last, architect. That's a profession. So we say, I'm an architect in this case. Here it was a social worker, but here we needed to say an architect because architect starts with an A, which is a vowel. It's also a vowel sound. Okay, so we, then we have to say an. Let's go on this side. I work farm. Remember, farm is outdoors, so we needed to say on a farm. Very good. I work Intel. So Intel is the name of a particular company. So what do we need to say? I work for Intel. Private sector. Okay, again, a little bit more specific, like this, pharmaceutical industry. So I work in the private sector. Fashion business. So, what can we say? I work, same way, in the fashion business and library. Okay, we haven't got the name of the library or anything, we're just saying library. So, we have to say, I work in a library. Okay, if you had the name of the library, then it would be different. Okay, now, one point I just want to make, even though here I said, Intel, I said for Intel and earlier for Microsoft, right? For Sony. But nevertheless, sometimes we also say at when we give the name of the company. All right. So we say I work at Intel. But I think it's better for you if you learn one way to say things and the simpler the better. Don't confuse by yourself by learning three ways to say something and then get confused. Instead of that, learn one way and use that confidently. Okay, now I told you that I would tell you where you can get this other resource of over a hundred business questions and answers. So for that, please go to our website, www.ingvid.com. There you can record, sorry, you can download a resource, a free resource of these hundred questions and answers. Okay, also you can do a quiz on this subject and see how well you've understood it. Okay, so bye for now and good luck with your English.